Welcome back to Marriage or Hell No. Fellas, in this video, we're going to be talking about none other than our brother Kevin Samuels. Our brother Kevin Samuels put on a master class last night. And I don't know if you guys caught the show, right? I happen to... I happen to catch some parts of it, but I did not get to the interview that we're about to do here. So before we get going, understand that this video reaction that I'm going to be doing is going to be a little bit raw. I'm going to try to get through it without getting overly excited or boisterous. But the one thing that Kevin Samuels did last night was he was talking to a young lady, kind of showing men what we are starting to face with some of these modern women who are out here you know, being thieves, the foodie calls of the world, the girls that act like they pay attention to you, the girls that act like they may like you, knowing that they're only trying to use you for whatever resources. So Kevin did a masterclass of this last night. And I want to say shout out to him because in my opinion, what Kevin is doing is unseen territory. We have never seen anything like this. And if you guys are Kevin Samuels fans or you subscribe to his channel or you're one of his members, somebody please let him know that, bro, if Kevin Samuels was on on Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, he would just kill everything. I mean, ABC, NBC, CBS, Stars, HBO, None of them got anything on this brother because nobody is doing what Kevin is doing right now. So shout out to Kevin. But before we get going, I'm going to waffle a little bit and I want to waffle by saying this. I have a new goal and I want to get to a thousand subscribers, right? We definitely got the views to be doing this full time. We're just not at the subscriber count, but I want to say much love out to everybody who's been subscribing. We've only been doing this a few months, but a lot of people have joined us along the way and they're ready to get this content to help brothers kind of make better decisions out here. So the first thing I want to say is really shout out to you guys for subscribing to the channel and then helping us grow because without you guys, there wouldn't be no channel. So I want to say that from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all the love and support. And if you're new to this content and you like what you're seeing here today, please consider liking the video, sharing the video, but most importantly, getting at me in the comments. So without further ado, let's get into this Kevin Samuels content because like I said, he put on a masterclass. I think that's fair. Yeah, I think if I bring you back in, you got to stay. Hello? Hello? Yo, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> Yo, you already know what I'm going to say about that, bro. You already know what I'm going to say about, bro, she's a German shepherd, bro. Shout out to the minister. If you know, you know. <laughs> Just coming out all aggressive. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell be wrong with some of these women, bro. They straight up German shepherds out here, bro. And I said I was going to try to get through this video by being nice. But see, she started off like this, bro. So you got to be careful when you're dealing with these German shepherds. And I'm telling you one thing, bro. When the AKC show up at your leasing office talking about you need to have restrict, you need to ease up these restrictions on these breeds, bro. Say, hell no, bro. Get these German shepherds up out of here. Go to the other link. And, I, and I'm going to say, ladies, I'm going to start having a policy that I'm going to require the women to start coming on like ladies. I'm, I'm personally really tired of having women talking like men. Yo, what's up with that? I'm going to just, I'm going to shut that up. I hope he really does, man, because at the end of the day, yeah, I like to poke fun and stuff, but, you know, I don't really associate myself with women who act super aggressive like that. Um, I know some younger guys think it's cute, and I used to think it was cute for a while now, but now that I'm older, I don't really want to see, you know, black women who are black just like me kind of displaying themselves like that. So shout out to Kevin for at least saying, yo, you know what, slow up, be, be a little lady like if you possibly can. Q Mac, are ready? Um, we have to start in my personal opinion. I can't control what happens on social media, but I am acutely a, concerned with the appearance and image of people who look like me. And on this, in this little bubble, I can control it. Oh, so, hey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Good, and yourself? Good, how old are you? I just turned 26 yesterday. 26. Do me a favor. Hold the um, camera kind of steady or set it down so it doesn't move all over. Okay. 
Sorry, I paused it there early. So we're just going to look at her real quick. All right. So I would say more than likely that's her natural hair. She has on no makeup. She just turned 26. She's not bad looking to me. Um, I would say she's average, you know, like maybe a six or whatever. But she seems to be pretty. And, you know, we're just going to give her that. You know, I, I don't really like tearing down 26-year-olds. But 35-year-olds acting crazy, we're going to roast them. But just from her initial looks right now, at least she does appear to be all natural. And I would say she's casually cute. All right. And then we can have the conversation. So uh, you're calling in to discuss what? Um, basically, a friendship that I have with a guy. And I know he likes me. Um, so like in the beginning, I kind of led him. I didn't purposely lead him on. But now looking back on it, I did take advantage of the situation. We would go out on outings, and he would just pay. But okay. in the beginning, in the very beginning, he did say, um, like, if anywhere we go, I just, I didn't even have to bring my wallet. Like, basically just, you know, I got you. Um, and he would handle that. But, man, but, but let's be honest, though. If you were 360 pounds and five foot two with four kids, would he have asked that to you? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? If you were 350 pounds at five foot two with four children, would he have offered that to you? So, I doubt you, it. so when you got, you say that I didn't intend to lead him on, and what he said, you know he was saying something because he wanted something. Well, he's the, he's the kind of person that is like a people pleaser. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. 26 years old, casually cute. Opened up by saying, hey, there's this guy who's basically being a beta male provider. I'm not trying to be rough on the dude, but obviously the dude is probably a young dude. He doesn't really know he's getting led on in this case uh, to a certain extent. You know, basically tells the young lady, hey, I want to go out on outings. I don't even know who uses that type of word. You know, nobody says outings out here anymore. But I think that she's very clever by choosing the word outings because she could have said dates. She could have said hanging out, but she called it outings. And maybe this is a new age thing or maybe it's just kind of going back to the old days. But I don't really hear women talking about we're going out on outings together. Um, I thought she was very clever about the way she chose to use the word outings. But she basically said, opening up that this guy says, hey, I'm going to pay for everything. You ain't going to have to even bring your wallet. But she knows what this guy is trying to do. But yet and still, she goes along with it. So you guys can kind of see where this might be going. So he never really asks for anything. Um. So yeah. if a woman were to do, so if we were switched to circumstances, do you have any siblings? No. Okay. Um, so if you were a people pleaser and you were just to give of your time and attention to or give of yourself to a man and he never asked, would he be wrong for taking it? Mm. Would he be wrong? Yes. Oh, okay. So he'd be wrong, but you're not? You're right. I mean, seriously. We, we, we have the world to where you ladies can, even during consensual relations, you guys can revoke consent. In the middle of the act, you can say stop, and a man has to stop. This is crazy, because women are smart, and you know that that man wanted something from you. What did he want? I kind of feel like he was just like, he really liked me, so he... he just, but if he, he really... really so that's the part I'm a little concerned about, right? Like like I mentioned, she's 26 years old. Now, she's not 21, so I could go in on her, but I've been seeing a lot of people just, like, slamming her. And you know me, I will slam a woman in a second if she's out here just, like, capping and being mean and evil and, you know, entitled and all this. This girl, she's still a little bit girly, which is a good thing for her. But she got to be careful with the wordsmithing because notice how she's saying that he still like me. 
not putting anything on herself to say, you know, maybe I liked him at the time, but then I'm not attracted to him anymore. It's all about his resources, him taking her out on outings, um, him liking her, but she's really not stating so far her position other than obviously that she should be able to do whatever she wants, but we're going to let it keep going because I'm trying not to be real critical on this girl because like I mentioned, I've seen people slamming her, but I'm going to try to take a different approach. But we know that this guy obviously sounds like some beta male provider. There, There's no getting around that. And she kind of mentioned something earlier too, mentioning that he never asked for anything. So fellas in the South, you guys would know what this is. You ever had your grandmother or your grandfather, somebody tell you that a closed mouth don't get fed? A lot of these women expect you as a man to really state what it is you looking for. And if you do not state what you are looking for, they will take full advantage of you because policy is is that a closed mouth doesn't get fed like but, but if that's the case ma'am i just said if you were 350 pounds five mm. foot two with four kids would he be offering that to you and you said no so it's more than just he liked you can we be honest yeah and i had a conversation with my dad about it and i just said um, like, I don't like him. I'm not attracted to him whatsoever. And okay, then he knows do? this. What, you, what like, you do, what you do, is you, what you do is you go ahead and write him a check for all the money he spent plus interest. Have some character. That's a big thing that he said right there. So I'm gonna take a pause right here real quick to talk about the character element of it. Fellas, we made mistakes along the way as guys when we come to dating some of these women. And sometimes, you know, we have to look ourselves in the mirror when either when we're in that relationship to say, look, I made some mistakes in this relationship. I need to work on improving so that way I can better fulfill this relationship and get it going in the direction that I want to get it going in. But then sometimes, you know, you guys may have been out there with a girl and just kind of say, yo, you're not for me character, morals, standards, values, these things are very important. And we know in today's culture of WAP and thottyism and all these other things that girls kind of go out here just with this loose perspective that they can do whatever we want or do whatever they want. But the difference between a regular lady and a quality lady often comes down to values and morals. And we have to have a little bit of that Call it character, whatever you want to call it, but you have to have a little bit of that to attract the right person. And when Kevin said that to her, look at her face right now. She knows that if her father came to her right now and said he was disappointed in her, it would break her because she knows that she's supposed to have character, values, morals, something, standards, something, but she is choosing to play a little naive game that we're going to find out a little bit more about. So, can I ask you a question? Well, well, would you be willing to repay him? Not a chance of hell. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like, if we go on outings, then I'll take... No, 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 no. I said I repay. I didn't... No, no, I don't mean... No, no. Repay. Everything he's already paid. The hundreds, the thousands he spent. It wasn't Thanks. that much, but... I, yeah. Me? It wasn't that much, but it was... How many times have you guys gone out? Like a handful of times. I don't know what that means. Um, maybe two handfuls. So maybe like ten. Yeah, ten times. Possibly. Ten times, and and you usually go to dinner. No, it's never nothing like that. It's kind of like low key, okay. like movies, which um, really? I don't know if people you said what? that Ruby? at eight. Why don't movies. I hear you movies. Things mm -hmm. like that, like. Mm -hmm. Movies and the movie tickets are how much? About eight to ten dollars a person. Shit. <laughs> you can see right now. This girl ain't never paid for anything. She never paid for anything because you can't go to the movies anymore for eight to ten dollars unless you're going to like a matinee, bro. Like 
I took a girl to the movies probably about three weeks ago, bro. I left out of there spending at least $50 because you're going to go to the movies. You get the tickets. You might get a drink, popcorn, whatever have you. You're going to try to make an event out of it. So you ain't coming out of there with less than $50. But what she is telling you is that she is not accustomed to paying because this guy is setting himself up for failure. Now, she could easily step back and say, bro, like this is a little bit too much. I'm uncomfortable with, you know, you paying for everything in this type of fashion, but she's choosing not to do that. But you can see right now, she got no clue as to how much anything costs because she ain't paying for anything. What movie are you going to see? Well, that's just what it is where I live. Yeah, I never eat. We do. Yeah, we do uh, carry outs, but not like fine dining like that. Uh, fine dining or not <laughs> carry out to fine dining bro so what's fine dining her now look I, I sometimes like i said i get excited i get boisterous but i'm not gonna slam her for this but she knows as to if that is a hundred dollar event like them going out to eat and having fun for a hundred dollars or she used the word fine dining so fine dining to her could mean $350, $300, but she knows that that man's probably spent at least $100 on them having a good time. But when asked about dinner, notice that how she tried to backtrack it and say, no, 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 nothing like that. Kevin rephrases, comes back to her, says, so y'all never have dinner? And she goes, oh, yeah, 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 sometime, but not fine dining. So I'm telling you, she's very good at the age of 26 at wordsmithing. That is this woman's real character trait right now. And I'm not trying to be harsh on her, but I am saying this as a lesson to fellas to watch out for women that are really good with words and wordsmithing, positioning of words. You have to be smart enough to either say, look, I don't care what she says, this is the outcome, or you'll be able to read between the lines. Uh, it's, it's at least $50. Right, right. Okay, at least $50. 10 times is 500 bucks. So if I asked you, would you be willing to give him, pay, give him his money back plus interest? Because you said you are not attracted to this man and any of this stuff. So you knew that. And you knew that from date one. Mm -hmm. And he knows it too. So, I want you guys to understand that this is how most women think. If I know I'm not attracted to you, and you know I'm not attracted to you, and you let me take advantage of you, it's your fault. Spot on. But if you take advantage of me, it's your fault. So, if you were to be passed out of this house one night drunk, and something happened, Would he be wrong? <laughs> right. I mean, you were laying, you were laying in this bed. You were laying in this bed. Yeah, that's not happening. So see how she said that's not happening. And I want you fellas to pay attention to this. And I'm going to tell you a little story about me real quick. Is that she actively knows that what she was doing, stringing this guy along, was wrong. But in her mind, that she told this guy, that she was not interested in him. He knows that she's not interested in him. So if he keeps spending his money, he's the beta male fool idiot, right? But as soon as Kevin switched that thing up and put it on us as fellas, and now we are the villains. So this is what I wanna do. I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story, real quick, briefly, right? So obviously this girl's 26 years old. She was talking about her father. Imagine if you men, you men listening to this content who have children, for me, I am 40 years old. I have a 19-year-old child. I started real early. If I told my son that it was all good for him at the age of 20, 21, 23, whatever, to be smashing girls, dashing girls, bringing them in the crib, kicking them out immediately, never having contact with them, and just smashing and dashing all day, my son will be labeled a villain, and I would be, I would be crucified. But yet, this woman, in the second that it was flipped around on her, her first reaction, just like so many other women are, no, that's not going to happen. Like Kevin mentioned, if he's going to take advantage of, it's his fault. But if he did something else, 
and took it to an extreme case, it's his fault. And that's what you guys got to pay attention to because this woman, even though she is young, she is not thinking about what she is saying. And we are seeing so much of that with some of these, what I like to call foodie call girls, girls that use dudes for resources, girls that string guys along. I, I don't know what this young brother was thinking about, but he, he's developing these beta male orbiting type of habits and you got to kind of nip that in the butt because as you fellas can see for any of you guys listening to this that like orbiting it's not going to work in your favor because you're just going to spend the resources but, but so so and that's an extreme case man but i really i tell curious, you our I'm, what i'm curious what i'm curious bullshit to understand is why is it so seemingly so easy for women who can understand the difference between right or wrong when they're in the wrong position? Why it's so hard for you guys to admit you're doing wrong when it's something you want? Because what it sounds like is, I want what he's giving me, and I know I'm not going to pay for it. And if he's stupid enough to do it, that's on him. But I'm going to stop it right there real quick. And the reason why I'm stopping it right there, I know I made a comment about it being BS. Like, it's BS because she knows what she's doing. So I'm going to get past that part real quick. But the one thing I want to circle back to is the fact that why is she doing this? Have If you guys are watching this content, or maybe you saw Kevin do this last night, did anybody ask the question? Fellas, let me know down there in the comments. Why do you think she called in the Kevin show? Is she calling in there to say to let this guy know because this guy has got to be able to see this content so is she calling in to let this guy know like dude buzz off i'm never going to be interested in you or is she calling in to feel better about herself to maybe even advertise to other men i don't understand why she called in knowing that this guy's going to see this but yet she claims that to be his um she's she's his friend so why does she call in to do this? Because like I said, this guy's going to either see this and be on notice that, bro, there ain't going to never be no future. Or she's going to be like, yo, look, I'm telling, I told you and I told the rest of the world, I did not like you. So yet, if you allow me to keep extracting your resources, it's all on you. But it's puzzling that she even called in the Kevin show. If you, I don't know if you believe in karma. But what yeah. kind of person does that make somebody to take advantage of somebody? Because that's what it really right. is. It's taking advantage. Mm -hmm. What is that? What, what, is, what kind of person takes advantage of another person? Um, I, well, I had a conversation with my dad about it. And he was just saying, you know, he was, it sounded like he was pretty much paying for your time. Because he hey, knows. Mr. Hey, Mr. Dad, stop, stop capping for your daughter. That's bullshit, sir. Okay, if, it wasn't your daughter, if it wasn't your daughter, sir, you'd say she belongs to the street. Amen. Amen, bro. Like, I don't know who her father is. And some of you guys are out there. You guys got daughters, right? And I know you guys try the best to provide because this is a real men's channel. This is a men's channel for men who are productive. None of us watching this type of content or even me doing these videos or making $20,000. You guys are productive men and some of you guys have daughters. And it sounds like she's an only child. So naturally, I get the idea that you as a man who's productive, you're going to want the best for your child. But for you to tell your 26-year-old daughter that this guy is basically paying for her time, you got to admit it sounds bad and you might be setting your daughter up for failure or even lack of morality or lack of characteristics or lack of standards because you wouldn't do that. And I just used the perfect example of if I went out there and told my son just to go slay everything in sight and kick him out, I would never do that to my boy. Never do that because that's just not right. So Kevin mentioned that if if her father's doing this, would he do this to some woman that was not his daughter? So I, I just don't totally agree with that. And I don't know what her father was thinking. I mean, 
I'm being honest. I'm a father. I have a daughter too, but ma'am, you know it's wrong. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you know you're not attracted to this man. You know nothing's gonna happen, yet he's weak for you and you'll take it. So what's your question though? Um, so basically, um, if we like when we go on a, um on outings and things uh-huh. of that nature, is it now like because when I go out with my female friends, we basically, you know, um Fit the bill sometimes. Uh-huh. So with a male friend, it shouldn't uh-huh. be the same way. Should it be 50 50? Are you talking should about be... this guy? Yeah. Ma'am, if I you mean, continue, I, 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 if you continue to go out with my, my personal opinion, my personal opinion, if you continue to go out with this man, you're a bad person. Well, we're friends. We're not going no, out. No, that's, not that's why I keep saying BS. Like, okay. Men have been telling women forever, we are not your friends. When it comes to dating, we are, it's more of a partnership thing. Marriage is more of a business thing. Now you might grow to love your wife and your wife may love you, but that stuff comes over time. And then that's how you build up to being her best friend. But this whole notion of let's just be friends, hang out, get to know each other. Why would men who are productive people who are about their business, about their grind, going to sit up there and say, yes, let's just be friends. This is not some girl you was in the third grade with that you were in kindergarten with. Why would you do that? You know, and that's the one thing I'm having trouble with her on. And like I said, I'm trying not to get too excited, but she is making me a little excited with some of the um, points that she's hitting out. She keeps saying that she knows that they're friends, but would you really do this to your friend? Man, we don't hang around dudes that are sitting up there giving us bad advice. So I don't understand why she's doing this and she knows that she is doing it other than the fact that she wants whatever she wants because she just figures that she can get it. That's the only thing she could be doing this for. But I'm going to go back to the point I said earlier. I don't understand why she is calling Kevin's show other than to put this man on blast because you got to imagine that she knows in her mind that this guy's going to see this. That's not friendly. No, that's not friendly. No, it's not. See, see, and I need you guys to understand that. Remember when I said if she was the one that was weak for him and he took and he took it, would that be wrong? She said he would be wrong to take advantage of her. And if he said, but we friends, Friends don't take advantage of each other, man. You're right. This is why she might just be trying to move on now, bro. She's like, yo, you're right. You're right. But she's not, to be honest with you, she might be a little naive and a little wrong or a lot wrong. But she's not barking like that first lady I was making fun of. But she's not doing any of that. So she's got a little bit of femininity in there. She's just, it's kind of going down a dangerous path for being a user. I said men and women are not friends. Gentlemen, understand, these w- women are not your friends, and they will use you if you let them, and they will justify it and make it your fault, because you said when you went out with you and your girlfriends, y'all split the bill. So I was saying, should it be the same for a male friend? You're not his friend, so it can't be the same. You should not be talking to this man dealing with this man, going out with this man. If you, this is a perfect phone call because I really sense that you, you, this is what the world has told you guys. The men are there to be, to be used. You want nothing to do romantically with this man. Fine. He wants something romantic with you, right? Yep. Then you need to say no and cut it off. But every time, every time, every minute you talk to him, text him, interact with him, that makes you a bad person. In my opinion, that makes you bad because you know he wants. But I know, I know he likes me, but he he won't admit it because he knows that it's not there with me. I'm a little concerned too that we talk about attention and validation a lot of times in the manosphere, but. Is she putting this guy on blast to say, I know that you like me. 
I, it's almost coming across like she wants attention, but that guy hasn't given her the type of attention that she wants. You know, it's like she's almost seeming like she's lying to herself that she doesn't like this guy. And I can't tell her at this point if she's just calling in to get attention to say, hey, guy, you might like me, but you're not doing what I need you to do. Or is she calling to say, look, flat out, stop it. But I'm a little confused and puzzled on this woman. And that's the reason why I would personally stay away from her because I don't know her angle. And to be honest with you guys, I'm too busy to figure it out. Like, you know he likes you, but he won't admit it because he knows you don't like him. Basically. Why does he need to admit it? He doesn't. No, but you said he won't admit it. Why why did you bring that up? Um Probably a recent situation where um, he was trying to take me out of town for my birthday, and it, I thought it was like a romantic getaway um, before okay. I looked on the website. So then, basically, I said that's for couples. Like I don't want to do that. And he was like, um, I know. He was like, that's not for couples or something. He was like, I didn't know that. And then he said. I know you so if he admitted to... if he admitted he liked you, what difference would it make? Then I would kind of cut it off at that point. So like I said in my monologue, because men are not direct communicators, regardless of how they got there, women like this young lady feel like it's perfectly okay to continue to take advantage of you because you didn't say definitively one way or another. But man, you already know the truth. I want to understand how you are okay with this. Because you were very clear, if the situation were reversed, the man who was taking advantage of you would be wrong. I'm starting it. Oh, that's an ugly picture. All right. That's much better. All right. Um, I'm starting to get an idea. I'm starting to figure it out now. It took me a little time, but I'm starting to figure out. Like I said, I'm doing this wrong, right? I'm starting to figure her out in a sense. You know what it is with this woman? Her dad may have given her some bad advice, but fellas, you hear the same story all the time. More than likely, it's her friends. Those female friends that she's talking about going out with that they split the bill females hang around other females that run together. So this woman might not have even been like this until a certain extent. But when she starts hanging around her friends, fellas, you need to start cutting it off. I mean, I was out tonight. I think I was at a restaurant, bro. It was like seven girls all at the table. They looking at us. I ain't go over there even talk to them because when women hang around other women, they start getting these silly ideas in their head. And more than likely, her friends are encouraging her to keep taking advantage of him because he's not being clear as to what his intentions are, even though she knows what his intentions are and she knows that maybe she doesn't like him. But I just don't understand why she would do this. But that's the reason why Kevin asked her this question. And you can see that she's starting to look away. More than likely, it's her friends telling her that this is okay. But she knows that this is damn well wrong now. She's participating in the act. So she's just as guilty. But I'm telling you, fellas, be careful of women that hang around other women. When there just be a bunch of them, them, them going out on Sunday, going to brunch type of girls, bro. I, I ain't got no time for them. I didn't really understand the question. Not Is it okay to take advantage of somebody that likes you? No. Are you taking advantage of this man? I don't feel like I'm, I am now at this point because now I'm willing to, you know, cover the bill and, um, you know, offer to pay. Ma'am, today, ma'am, you did not realize you did not like this man's section right on this phone call. You've known that for a long time. Mm -hmm. That means 
you are taking advantage. Just because you are willing to cover the bill is irrelevant. You are still taking his time and attention. If you, okay, are you his friend? I am. Then you should want the then you should want the best for your friend. Okay. Do do you not? I want the best for my friends. Do you want the best yeah. for him? Yeah, nothing but. Then the best for, for him would be to be away from you. So he can get with somebody who respects him, likes him, really wants to be with him, and deserves what he's doing. Because what you're doing is disrespectful, inconsiderate, and just because you're doing it in a nice, soft way doesn't make it any less dirty. You know this man likes you. Imagine you had a female friend who liked the guy a lot. <laughs> and he kept stringing her along, leading her on. And she was weak for him. You think he's a what? Savage. Sorry. Where did she even get that one from? Like, is that simping today? Like, is that what a simp is? Like, we got different definitions out here for us fellas. Like, a simp is not that type of person. But, you know, we girls would call that guy a savage a savage bro but i'm starting to get her a little bit more now all right so this is the thing with this type of woman this type of woman is like to play dumb she might not be the smartest woman in the uh the smartest woman out there but she is smart enough to know how to play dumb in this case but when kevin asked her do you want the best for your friends notice how she started looking away attention stopped she stopped paying attention she stopped looking and stopped making eye contact and i'm telling you right now i firmly believe that this woman called in because she knows what she's doing is wrong and she's basically calling in to Kevin so Kevin can kind of tell her about herself. And that's the way that she's kind of checking this type of behavior. My personal opinion. Let me know if you guys think different. Yeah. I didn't catch the last part. I'm sorry. You, if you had a female friend who liked a guy, she, she liked a Chad or a Tyrone, she really liked him and you knew he didn't like her, but he kept on leading her on, letting her be around, letting her be around. And she's like, well, maybe one day, girl, maybe one day. And just because he wasn't mean to her, what would you think of him? That you he needs to let her be. You think he's a nice man for doing that? No. Huh? No. Then how are you a good woman? Okay. I get it. I mean, do you really get it? Yeah. Or, so, what are you going to do with this man going forward? The million dollar question. Remember I asked you at the beginning, what do you think is the first thing that this woman is going to do after this interview because her facial expression she can tell she's getting beat up a little bit and maybe she needs to rethink or maybe she needs to realign with her father and have some kind of conversations but i think that this woman and i'm gonna give my answer at the end so you guys let me know but i think she is kind of realizing it but i'm starting to get the impression too that she might just continue her own ways. And I know you guys are going to have a lot to say about that because you guys will be like, nah, bro, she's dusty. She's a succubus. I don't really want to cover that type of stuff because Lord knows we talk a lot about some of these dusty women out here. But ultimately, I don't necessarily want to be shaming, you know, 26-year-old girls who still have hope in our community because let's face it, bro, we all black and, you know, there's a lot of guys outside of our culture who watch this and are probably dealing with the, some of the same things that are going on on their side, you know, but I don't really want to get the idea that 
every woman out here is just spoiled, you know. But hopefully she could turn it around, but let's keep it going. Um, I guess I can just, you know, love them from a distance. Because do what from I, a distance? Like, do, what, do, what, do what from a distance? I didn't hear you. Love him from a distance or be his, you know, support him from a distance and like, you know. Love him from a distance. What kind of love? As a friend. As a friend. Like okay. What the hell is that? What is she talking about? She know that ain't real, bro. Genuine friendship. Uh, because, okay. like, I can see, you know, I, I sometimes catch I accept it. I just wanted to hear what you were saying. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it not eros me- love. It's phylos. It's friendly love. But he doesn't want friendly love with you. Right. So this is a perfect example. See, when a man is in a power imbalance with a woman, the world tells a man not to use his power to take advantage of that woman. And if he does, he's a dog. He's a snake. He's the worst parts of the Bible. If he uses his power, influence, or whatever over this woman who cares about him. But yet when a woman does the same thing, we still hold the man. And you know that this man is weak for you. And I don't know if you believe in karma or whatever. Your father, sir, you were dead ass wrong for telling your daughter that she paid for his time, paid for his resources, her, her time. Dead ass wrong. And I tell your father that to his face if I saw him. You're dead ass wrong for saying that. You know this man likes your daughter, and your daughter has no possible feelings for this man. And you can articulate those. Then, if you really care about him, let him go. I'm going to pause it right there too, because this is the flip side of this. This is the part nobody's talking about. This is the type of woman that can create a monster. Not, not in the sense like some what I like to call thotty behavior, getting cheated on or something like this. But this is a different type of monster. When women go out there, guys, we're, we're all the good men at. No man wants to take you know women out on dates anymore. Men just want to kick it before they even go out on dates. It's because of stuff like this. It's because why would a man say, okay, I'm chilling with this girl. I like this girl. I'm letting her know that I like her. Maybe he thinks that she's playing hard to get. He keeps spending his resources on her. She deads him for whatever reason, moves on from him. Now he's going to go back out there in the market and never splurge on a woman again. Girl want to hook up with him or hang out with him. He like, yo, we going for a stroll in the park. I'm spending absolutely nothing on you. So that's the reason why some of these men out here are going to be monsters because this woman right here i don't believe she's evil and i'm not getting into all of that today i you guys know i've dug out a lot of women or i've talked bad about some women that have done bad things but i'm i'm not gonna say she's all the way bad it's just that i'm a little confused as to why she called kevin samuel's show but i'm starting to get the idea she called kevin samuel's show just to take a little bit of abuse because she knew what she was doing was wrong and it was eating her up inside go no contact cut him off because he will still try to hang in your friend zone do you think this man is going to be happy to see you with another man? No, not really. Huh? Not really. N- not really? Not really? Do you think he's going to be happy to see you with another man? Yes or no? No. No. And if you and your boyfriend start having some problems, and you pick up the phone to call this friend, your guy friend, do you think he's going to be able to give you unbiased advice? Um, I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and man, you think a man who likes you and you're with another man, you think... If you call him to talk to him about a problem with your boyfriend, that he could give you unbiased advice. 
No. No. Fellas, you heard it right there. I don't know how many times Kevin has to say it or other people like that. Uh, other people in this space have to say it. Bro, when I deal with a woman, she ain't going to have no male friends. It might be her cousin. It might be her uncle. It might be some dude that she knew from kindergarten. But it ain't going to be some beta male orbiter just hanging around her. And if she's cool with you and she likes you, she'll understand that. There is no reason why you guys out here be allowing women that you date to just be hanging around out here, whether it's social media, still having Instagram, still receiving DMs, or it's beta male orbiters that are always going to be in her space, bro. So sometimes you have to protect your woman from your, from herself sometimes. And if she's not willing to let you do that, fellas, she might not be the one for you. You just got to keep it real. And see, what I need you to understand is what you just saw is a, is a character break. Women have a need to maintain a certain character, an image. And when something uh, conflicts with that, their public persona, it's almost like a schizophrenic break. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. To where, this is why they can make up fanciful, fanciful examples, things that only exist in Bizarro Land, Scarlet Witchville. Man, you know this man likes you. Leave him alone. Be the bigger person. Leave him alone. That would be my secret. I appreciate it, though. Good conversation. Have a good night, though. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Good conversation. And I would say, bro, that was a perfect conversation. It really reminds me of the video I did with the younger girl probably about a month ago. I, yo, like I mentioned before, if she was 35, 40 out here talking that type of dusty, I would have a whole different type of energy for her. But I really don't like the idea of slamming a 26-year-old girl. And in final, remember the question I asked. I'm going to give you a multiple choice. So I'm going to reiterate the question. What do you think was the first thing that this woman did after, excuse me, after she hung up the phone or she cut off the live with Kevin Samuels? A, she's going to talk with her father to realign about what it is that she's been doing. B, she is going to call this guy, break it off in some type of fashion to be like, look, um... I just had a chance to really think about things and, you know, I'm not attracted to you like that, but I want you to know that you can't be spending money on me like that anymore. So I'd rather a cease or if we go out, it's 50, 50 Dutch, you know, or C, she ain't gonna do jack shit. <laughs> you know, let me know down there in the comments. But I really do think that this was a good interview for Mr. Samuels because you could see Kevin didn't go in on her. He didn't ask her her job. He didn't ask her her weight and all of that because she was a casually attractive woman. She was not aggressive like that pit bull German shepherd we saw early on. She was still feminine. She just been getting bad information. But what I... I said it in this in this in this reaction video, and I think Kevin just hit it on there right to, right there as well. This woman called in to basically be told about herself for some odd reason. She was having some kind of you know guilty feeling inside of her heart to say that you know what this has gone on long enough, and my circle of girlfriends are not letting me see the light to say you know what I can't keep doing this type of stuff because it is costing my character, my soul, the way I value myself a little bit too much. And I really believe that that's what we saw here. And the other thing I want to point out is this. I don't know if you guys were paying attention, but that's what we do on this channel. It's all about active listening for fellas. Notice that she didn't say anything about her mother absolutely anything now god forbid i hope nothing happened to this young lady's mother um but notice i noticed that she didn't say anything about her mother so there could be a possibility that she's the only child and her father is only there in her life and maybe she's missing the motherly aspect of life you know what i mean but in this particular case i'm not going to slam her too much i just know i know she was making bad decisions i know she was freeloading off this guy i know she came in to call kevin samuels to you know basically either put this guy on blast or just have a character break like he just mentioned but the good news is simply this and this is where i'm going to leave it two things happened that were bad and then i'm gonna i'll finish off with the good thing 
the first thing that dude, if fellas, if you are that type of guy, you need to understand one thing. A closed mouth does not get fed. It does not get fed. So you are better off stating your purpose of what you want in this relationship, whether you're trying to hit the skins, whether you want to be in a relationship with her, you need to let her know. Now, just because she tells you that she's not interested in you sexually like that, don't get in your damn mind that you're going to win her over because it's not going to happen like that in today's time, bro. You have to make her want you. The other thing, for all you fathers out there, and I'm not... I have no place to judge you guys as men, but that father right there did something wrong. And I think that that's the reason why his daughter was caught. She was conflicted. She really was conflicted in my, my humble opinion. Now, the last thing, the good news, I always like to see this with our community. And I think that's the reason why Kevin is remarkable at what he does is that I really do think that the good news is that this woman is only 26 years old, meaning she just turned 26. So hopefully she can reassess, build her character back up and say, look, this is not the woman I want to be going forward. Because if I go back out into the market with this type of attitude, anything can be liable to happen to me where some some guy is just going to dog me out, ghost me because I was doing things like this, or she created a monster where that guy right there is going to have no respect for women. And I don't think she really wants that. And then she also learned an important lesson is that there ain't no such things as friends. So hopefully in closing, this young lady can turn it around. But fellas, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think was the first thing that this woman did after she talked to Kevin Samuels? A, she talked to her father to realign her priorities and set some boundaries and kind of gain some proper perspective. B, did she call that guy, break it off any kind of way, whether she was like, yo, did you just see what Kevin Samuels, did you just see Kevin Samuels show? I think you should check it out. Or she is a little bit more direct and saying, look, bro, we can't continue the way we've been rocking because it's just not right. Or C, is she just going to continue to do the same thing? I already know what some of you guys are going to say. But until the next time, I really enjoy talking to you guys as always. And please, if you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, sharing the uh, video, as well as commenting below. Because at the end of the day, we do this to help men make better decisions because we're productive. And what do we do? Yo, we stay away from German shepherds. Until the next time, marriage a hell no. Nah. Let's get it, fellas.